If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, I'm here, welcome back to yet another player review. Today we have managed to pick up the Belgian from the Bundesliga milestone. Um, a little bit quicker than I'd anticipated to be able to review this, if I'm honest. It's not my account, it is someone who is hell-bent on trying to get me views, so I appreciate you greatly. Uh, I'm, I know I'm not the first person to review this, someone did it in like two hours or something. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, three star, three star, high, high work rates, five, nine. And uh, some, some alright stats. At this stage of the game, for, for a Milestones player that, realistically, for, for a normal person, you know, a casual gamer, or even someone who is a hardcore, unless you drop down to, like, Division 10, it's unlikely you're going to be able to get this guy very quickly, you know? Doing it in a day means you either need to be spamming games and really good at the game, or you need to be in Division 10, obviously. Um, otherwise, it's going to take you a week, two weeks, a month to get it. I know I won't get it for ages on my on my Road to Glory account or any on any account, really. And I'll I'll actively try and get it, but just for the division that I'm in and the amount of games that I play, I just I know I won't get this for ages. And for the quality of the card, I just don't think it's, on paper at least, I don't think it's good enough for where we are right now. End of January, we're about to hit February and they give us an 86 rated card for all of that requirement. Uh, let's have a look at the in-game stats though, because I've said that it, it's not a bad looking card, which it isn't, you know, it's very well rounded. He is a CDM, but obviously uh, you can play him wherever you want. I'm gonna be using him as a CM. He won't be stay back while attacking, although I will alter his instructions throughout the game, or throughout the games, uh, depending on how I feel he's getting on. Um, Relatively good pace, to be fair. I mean, uh, yesterday I was trying to compare him to someone, and I looked at Lucas Leiva's info. They're both 86 rated, and um, I think his name is uh, Verstrat or Verstrata. Uh, I'll just call him Verstrat. If I'm wrong, I apologise. Um, I, I compared him and Lucas Leiva, and he absolutely smashed Lucas Leiva nearly everywhere on the pitch. And they are both 86 rated cards, and he has like 200 in-game stats more than Leiva. So. There are, I mean, it's weird how he can be 86 rated and just beat someone like Lucas Leiva, who is also 86 rated as much as he does. It, it is a little bit crazy. He has great pace, uh, considering. Uh, he's got, um, he is really short though, isn't he? Yeah, he's 5'9", so he's not that tall, which for a CDM, I don't know, may or may not be a problem. We'll have to wait and see. 90 shot power, 77 long shots, not bad. We can crack some from distance if we get into a position. Good short passing. Vision needs a bit of, of updating. I think I'm going to do that. Although there are two chem styles in mind I could use. Uh, good long passing in there as well. Uh, dribbling is a little on the low side. Great agility, great balance. Reaction's not the best. Composure is okay. Uh, the defensive stats are alright. You know, really good interceptions, which I'm happy with. The rest of the stats are a little bit on the low side for a CDM. I think those need to be up updated and upgraded big time. Uh, and of course, 96 stamina is phenomenal. He's got high, high work rates. You, especially as a CM, which I'm using you with no instruction. We're going to get to see how effective they are. Uh, his strength, again, could maybe be improved. I'm not going to do that. Uh, in terms of the chem style, or rather before we get to that, that's the team I've got him in. Wasn't the easiest of players to fit in, into a team, really, especially with the players available to me. Didn't want to go and spend money building a team around him. You could potentially put, I don't know, Perisic up here at, at uh, left wing, for instance. You know, the, uh, the storyline... Uh, or whichever version of Perisic this is, uh, the season objective. Uh, you could pop him up at uh, left wing and maybe put, I don't know, Lewin there and, and box him in that way. But it, I had to basically go out and get a Cologne left back who isn't very good at all. He may end up being swapped out. But uh, with that being said, Powerhouse Chem Style is exactly what I want, EA Sports. Thank you very much for the, the help in hand. So... Interceptions go into the 90s, defensive awareness, stand tackle and slide tackle all go into the 90s. Defensive awareness and slide tackle just creep into it, whereas uh, stand tackle obviously being 96. Vision goes up to 91, short passing goes up to 99, long passing the same, crossing gets improved, turns him into a 92 rated CDM. At the end of the video I will talk about the um, other chem style you could potentially have used, but I think for, the, for what I want from him, I think that could be the, the play. Improving the reactions and the composure, possibly the dribbling as well, did cross my mind. The other chem style definitely does that, but we don't get the passing boost. I felt like I would benefit more from passing than I would from 
not not necessarily snappy reactions, but maybe the dribbling stat. But we'll have to wait and see how we get on with him. Without any further ado, let's get into the gameplay. The team we are up against first has uh, has some pretty sexy players in there. I mean, that is a bit of a mental team. The Ronaldo striker isn't even alone, so that's a bit mad. Going to get him on the ball straight away here. Here he is. So, oh, I tell you what. I think I need to improve that dribbling. That was horrendous. I always thought that the agility, here he goes, the agility would um, would be the, the, the defining factor, really, in, in something like that. Good movement as well, by the way. I didn't tell him to go forward. It wasn't like a little through ball or anything. little ball back to him here. See if we can work it through. Ah, shame. I always thought the agility would be would determine how quickly a player moves around and, and all the rest of it, but... Turns out dribbling has a massive effect. I mean, he's just really, he just feels sluggish in movement. Not necessarily in anything else. I mean, look at Neymar, as you'd expect. I didn't expect him to be anywhere near as good as Neymar is. Nearly scored there. He's actually making a lot of forward runs. Like, I'm literally just, I mean, that's his at attacking work rate coming into play there. But I'm literally just pressing A. There's Mbappe. Goal. It'll be interesting to see what he's like on defence. I mean, there he is. I'm not controlling him. He's tracking his man. He's actually going back into the space because I've moved Hector, the left back, out. And as you can see, he's now blocking left back, which is really good, actually. Um, that high defensive work rate coming into play. Tonali takes the ball and we are away. Keen, little back heel. Tonali. The stat. Can he play that ball through to Neymar? Well, not really. It wasn't the best ball in the world, was it? Can he get that ball back? Can he get it again? There's the stat. He scored. Well, well, well. On his debut. I mean, he made that run. I didn't tell him to. He was edging forward, edging forward, edging forward. And then he managed to slot it home. It wasn't the most convincing of finishes in the world. But still, he is on the score sheet in his debut. Or on his debut, I should say. And uh, I wasn't necessarily looking to score with him. I was just looking to see how well he would defend Hector. Here is the stat. Lovely change of direction. I do like that skill move. It's probably my favourite. And that is a great ball out to Zambrotta. Who has space to just burst into. I'm going to go for goal with him as well. And he's only gone and scored. Well... And there we go, got a rage quit in our first game against that guy's team as well. That, uh, that to me is quite impressive. I won't lie to you. I'm very happy with his first performance. My next opponent, another very good team. Uh, Van Dijk and Ferdinand at the back, both with shadows on them. Lala at right back. Awa is fantastic. Uh, very good front three. Still, to this day, it's February in a couple of days. He's using Sissoko. Here's Verstat. Ball up to Neymar. Good ball as well. Little ball into Mbappe. Look at... Who is that through the middle? Is it Politano? It is through Politano. Neymar. A cross goal. Great save from David De Gea. Mukiele with a great challenge. There's Politano into the stat. And I need Neymar to make that run. Good ball. Well, the stat has made a run. Hello. High attacking work rate. Oh, he's, he expected it. And he's missed. I mean, to be fair, he doesn't have great finishing. What is it? 57 finishing. He's never going to score. Uh, he expected the uh, the cutback to Neymar. Nah, not a bit of it. I went alone. And we've nearly got a goal there. It's a shame his finishing is as low as it is. I'm going to play this just near post. For stat on the corner. Ball in. And it's only gone and gone in from Zambrotta. 3-0 from the corner. And for stat's got yet another assist to his name. I tell you what. I'm I am actually very impressed. I have just scored an absolute banger with Mbappe. That is an insane goal. To the point where I desperately want to watch that replay. That was incredible. The corner was taken by Verstat, of course it was, but I don't it wasn't a direct assist. That was insane. Look at that. Little flick and then bang with the left foot. Clean as you like. No oh my god, what a goal. In conclusion of uh, Verstrat, this guy is very good, uh, but I don't think he's quite sort of in that class 2 range. So if you're a bit confused by the class system, I will try and get it on the screen somehow. I've obviously gone back to this uh, screen now. I won't have the gameplay playing in the background either, so that there's a little bit less confusion. Uh, some people were complaining that they couldn't really see the stats and things, but we'll do it this way. So... Basically, class 3 is what I would class as the top 50% in the game. Class 2 is the top 25%. And then class 1 is like the top 10% in the game. So your Mbappes, your Neymars, your Ronaldos, Messis, and so on and so forth. Um, Verstra, Verstra, in my opinion, he's a good card. But uh, until he gets an upgrade, which whenever that may be, um, 
I, I, I don't think this card is, is necessarily good enough for like a weekend league. I don't think it's good enough to go into most people's main teams. If he does fit your main team and you enjoy him, then that's awesome. I just think there are better cards out there for not an awful lot of money. I know this card's free, but with the lack of dribbling ability uh, and uh, and the weak foot in particular, there's just there's there's just too many sort of average stats in there rather than just like over the top good stats if that makes sense. Uh, the other chem style I was going to mention was of course the guardian. I'm not sure if that's something that you would be interested in, but that does improve the ball control and the dribbling. But to be fair, I really liked his range of passing. It really helped me out in getting uh, some really killer balls through to the to the attackers. So I like the card. I definitely think it's worth the grind, but not necessarily to go out and go, right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to neglect everything else. I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm just going to try and get for strat. I think it's something decent to work towards over time that you might use in a first owner squad for icon swaps or something, but it's not a card that you'll necessarily want to put into your starting 11, if that makes any sense whatsoever. If you have enjoyed this review, all you need to do for me is hit that like button. That's all I ask of you. Uh, let me know what you think of the card in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel for new, of course. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.